Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the stream. Thank you so much for hanging out on this Saturday afternoon. Today we have a pretty exciting day, I think. Lots of fun tournaments on Saturday. We're gonna be playing the $109 late KO. We're gonna get in the 33 KO, which has actually started a, a couple hours ago, but we're gonna hop in. Um, you know, the normal stuff, Hot 44, 55 Bounty Builder, stuff like that on the evening grind. So hopefully we're gonna have a good day. Thank you guys for hanging out here. Okay, so we open, we get a call, we see this flop. We're gonna bet. We're gonna bet 525 and shove the turn. And we're going to shove the turn, as I mentioned. First hand double up, maybe? Could be. And we're all in up here while we wait. Oh no, that's two kings. Ah uh, yeah, we're gonna bust the 33 mini and we get a fold here, double bad news. I need a haircut real bad. I'm gonna get one on Monday, but it's just tilting me till then. Ace King, we're gonna get to put the money in here. Look at all this juicy money we got sitting in the pot. There's a raise, a call, and a call, and you have like 20 big blinds and a real strong hand. Just lovely. And wow, okay. Three-way flip, just an ace or a king or a jack. None of those things, though. Still loved the hand. I still loved playing it. It was a pleasure, you guys. Queens against fives against sixes. No, that's a set. Seven for a chop. Queen will do, okay. Never mind, we'll take a queen. Queen for the whole thing, that's great. We get a bounty for how much? How much was our bounty? Please tell me. Oh, we don't get a bounty, they get a bounty. I lied to you all, I'm sorry. Betting a call now on this ace high flop, all right. I'll give you guys credit, no! That's a jack, I uh. So ace jack we're raising, ace queen we're raising, and the grounders is all in, and we have kings up here. So we have three hands right now, let's win the first. Ace queen against ace king. We run good though. Holds. We do. Okay, so we're picking up those 5k. We're up to 11,000. Ace jack, we see bet and they uh, fold. And now let's go up to the 55 where we see a limp. And I'm going to raise it up to 210. They're fold. Okay, three for three though. Not bad. Not bad at all. Go down to the kings and shove effectively. All right, cool. So we are going to gamble here with our kings and also our second up flush draw. Okay, and. What do we have here? I guess this has got to get out of the way. We have a flush draw, and we're gonna win. Excellent, so we're up 12-2. We get a double up, we're gonna fold it here, and let's go over to the jacks in the hot 750. Uh-oh. We need help, we need a lot of help. Two outs, not today. We must be coming up in your two years on Twitch in the next month or so, are you gonna do anything special from the Sparks? You know, I don't know, I haven't planned for it yet. It's actually October 25th would be two years on Twitch. I haven't thought about what I'm gonna do. I should do something fun though. Flop top pair and a flush draw here. So uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna try and scoop this 3,000 in the middle. All right, let's rumble. What do you got? You have two pair, tens and eights, but we are pretty much flipping here, as you guys could see, because we had the flush draw along with like an overcard, so. Don't know. Hey, Lord Big Dick. No, Lord Dig Big. I'm sorry. Uh, a little slip of the tongue there. PG in the chat, please. Yeah, PGs. Thank you for the PGs out in the chat. <laughs> we raise the kings. The flute calls. The flute calls everything. The flute has never folded to us. Rhea Marl. Squeeze it up, my friend. Just do it. Just squeeze it up. Dang it, they call. Okay, 10-5 goose, though. This is a pretty good flop. Unless they have twos or fives. Uh, tens, I guess they can have two. But what I'm trying to say is we feel very comfortable about our situation. I'm going to bet just under half pot and hope we run into... An ace 10, a king 10, a queen 10, a jack 10, a 10 9 suited, a 10 8 suited, a heart draw. Well, the flute. <sighs> Hate that turn card. Uh, we're gonna keep betting, but damn it, if he shoves, we have to fold. They fold in the turn. Oh, the flute. Man, why couldn't it just be like a three, you know? So we're gonna check raise here, especially with the bounty on the line. We check raise, hitting flops calls, and we still have a pretty decent draw here. So we will shove. Aggressive lines against hitting flops. Suffocation, no breathing. Suffocation, no breathing. I think hitting flops is gonna call. They tank this long, man. Let's just get a call and get there, actually. That would be better. Just they call and we hit a five. They fold. Hey! They folded! We're at the 12k! The dream! Let's go to the 10s where we decided to 3-bet. We get a call. 8-8-9 eight, eight, on the flop. We do block a lot of the draws they can have here. So we're gonna bet. Uh, it can get awkward if they decide to raise, but I still think we should bet. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Dude, that was... I loved it. It was the best. 
cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Oh my god, the turn! Suffocation! No breathing! Oh wow, this went well. This went pretty damn well. Woo! We got him! Give me the bounty! Give me the chips! Keep the dream alive. 750 coming our way. Good stuff. Any advice on how to deal with aggressive big stacks and big turnies? It's a tough question, man, because it's a very broad one. It depends on a bunch of different factors. But if they're playing more hands, you need to know and conceptualize in your head that they have more hands they're playing, right? So sometimes that can mean that you want to play more hands to match their aggression, right? And you get to play more hands for value because they have lots of hands. But I think the easiest adjustment and the one that works the most for people that are newer to it is just like, have good hands and then when you have good hands, know that they're sort of bluffers, right? Value bet your hand relentlessly. Keep putting in money when you have good hands against them. And, uh, and then when you have a good hand and they're being aggressive, just be willing to make the calls down. Look at this little flop we got going on here. Look at this little beauty. All right, you're gonna lead out, hey? All right, we'll call you. There's some bad turns. A heart's a bad turn. Queen's not great. Jack's not great. They check. We will check. Hard to get called by a worse hand twice. Hey! We have a full house. All right, Flavvy Flav. What are you thinking? 2200, eh? I'm gonna min raise because I think it's pretty hard for them to have quad eights. And they could be betting some things that are worse here, like flushes or maybe an eight. Now that they shove, we're either chopping or losing to quad eights. We chop. All right. Good stuff. Chop it up. We have quads. Right? I want bounties, but like, there's no way they're calling with worse hands three times. Now we have a chance. Come on, Siolo, please. Make it a call. We have a ten of diamonds in the river. I am going to shove. Just have a royal flush. It'd be amazing. I'd love it. I would love the pain so much. But we want your bounty. So we're going for max chips. Pulls the ace queen. That's okay. Don't know. AJ Benza. Holy crap, man. AJ, must be top dono for today. Can you give the stream your most sexy wink? Well, dude, I have some bad news. Nollar is the biggest D of the day with 25, but hey, dude, $20 and one cent, that is a nice, that is a nice D, dude. That is a really nice D. Okay, so I'm gonna try and figure out a wink. I have to put myself like in the mode, you know? Like, where am I? This is hard, like, you're really putting me on the spot here. Um, I'll try a couple, okay? We need a scenario. Okay, so we're, we're in the Rio and Kate Upton. Kate Upton is walking in the Rio. Right, but she's like, she's got her entourage around her or something like that. So we're just walking through and we see her and then we give her a little, and a little, little one of those. That's, that's the best I got. <laughs> I can't, I can't. That's the best I got. I, and I don't think that that wink is gonna sell Kate Upton to be honest. I think I'm drawn dead. I don't think I have a chance. All right, Mono, you have bounty money on your head and we have Ace King. You don't know that but we know that and we want your money. All right, bounty hype. Come on, chat. Hold. Oh, get there. Yes, hold. Let's go. All right, we get it in bed. We run good though. And we got another bounty, another 2813, which means we've earned $65.63. And we have 26,000. <sighs> There's a bounty on the line. There's two bounties on the line, man. There's a $56 and a $75 bounty on And the 56, we call. That's a king, hold. Hold to chop up the bounties. Let's go, you guys. All right, we're gonna get half of these bounties. A double KO. How much? 2814, not bad. We're jacks against Ace Jack, all in over here. Ah. Uh... We had a straight, they had a higher straight though. We lose the jacks at East Jack. That's okay though. Let's open up the Queen Jack suited. And another raise and another call. We're just battling. We're battling this guy. Not on purpose, just the way it is. And here we flop a gut shot. A 10 would give us the nuts, obviously. And we also flop a backdoor flush draw. A lead for 3,500 chips, but a huge bounty here. So I'm actually gonna call. We need about 20%. We're only gonna hit our card 10% of the time, but when we do, there's a really big reward. And we can also pick up the <laughs> the flush draw like this, and now we get to call with the price we're getting and maybe get this $150 bounty, which is pretty big. So we will call here 9,500 to win 17K, plus the 150 bounty though, it's just like really big. I'm gonna say 10. Hey, oh my God, the 10 of the river, we run so good. Let's go. We had 25% of the turn. It came through and we pick up 75 bucks. Let's go down to the pocket queens. 
And we get a call from Duga Booga. Check back. Hard to get a, like, if we bet three times, they're gonna have better hands, right? So like, why not just bet twice? And the only bad card is an ace, that's it. So we'll pot control a little bit here. We're gonna open it up to them bluffing on the turn, which would be nice. And Duga Booga is thinking here. They bet like real big here from Duga. We'll call. Definitely not the best card in the world. It does bring in some of the draws they can have. And they shove the river. Hmm. It's kind of awkward. I don't know, what do you guys think in chat? What do you think? Should I call or fold? Pogchamp equals call. Bible Thump equals fold. So get your votes out in the chat. Pogchamp is call. Bible Thump is fold. We're gonna fold. All in with Ace King against fours though in the 55 bounty for a nice big bounty. 90 bucks. So many outs. A nine, a ten, a queen, an ace, a king. Not gonna happen though, so we lose the flip there. Pick up ace queen next hand though, it's not bad. Open under the gun with the bounty on the line. We're just gonna take the three bet line with our ace queen. They have uh, 15 big blinds, so definitely gonna be profitable. But I don't wanna flat and allow them to get away from it later on. We're just gonna three bet and then put 18K in the middle. Um, I guess like we'll bet this much? I don't know. What should we bet? I guess we'll just shove. <laughs> Uh, with 18,000, 15k remaining, like, we're not folding, obviously, so... Call, fold, call, folds! Defo fold, folds. Folds. Alright, most people said fold, so... We are in agreeance. We are in agreeance. Ace-queen is gonna lose to sevens. We're gonna live through the pain, though. Let's freeze up the king-queen. Two away from the money! Two away! But look at this $316 bounty, it's worth like two and a half X of min cash. For the half that we would earn, and the other half on our head, of course it has some value as well, right? Because the bigger the bounty is, the more people want to hunt you, so the easier it is to get it in good. So, you still get some of the value, even though you don't get cash immediately, for, for the other parts of the bounty. Alright, we see a 9-10-5 flop. We are going to bet here with our two overs and our backdoor flush draw, and we're gonna bet on the big side. 12k into 17, sounds good to me. I'll just fold to shove from Jana, but I'll obviously call uh, against Andre, especially with the bounty on the line. Pretty easy call. We do see shove here. We are gonna call for 6,300 to win half this bounty. Oh, we have the same hand. All right, chop it up. I did not expect to be 50-50 uh, there. That's good. This is really interesting with the bounty on the line. They shove for four big blinds. This person reshoves. Uh, I think we have to hunt for it here with 13 big blinds and the bounty. So we will. All right. Yay, we're ahead. That's a great flop. We have outs to win the whole thing. All right, we are gonna chop it up at least. And we profit a lot there, because there's a big side pot going on. See an open from this player who's playing 40% of hands or raising 21%. We are going to reshove our ace eight. They're gonna be opening very wide, especially considering we have a short stack here. And we have a potential bounty. If we're ahead of Tony, we're gonna be doing okay here. And Tony calls with 10s. Okay, so we're behind, which is not great. We need an ace, and only an ace. We are going to bust to Tony, who is going to knock us out of the tournament. So we cash for 62 plus the 160 or whatever it was. We're a decent profit in the tournament, 220, but this is our last baby now. We have 10s. 10s are pretty good. All right, Jays, all you can eat, buddy. Come get this bounty, or try. Try your hardest, Jay. <clears throat> we have a flip. No, 10. Nice hand, Jay. So we cashed for $25.94 plus the bounties for 40 bucks, but profitable day. Um, we had some decent some decent bounties, man. We 55 we cashed for like 220 or something, so it was alright. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. Hit the follow button. I will be back tomorrow for day five of five on the grind.